Hi, I'm Steph Winkler, and today I'm featuring my latest story, Daisy's Ball. It's a speech and language book on positional words. This is a companion book to Bruno's Ball. It's very similar in some ways, but very different in others. This is also going to be my first ebook, so I'm really excited to have that out, hopefully in a few weeks. I also wanted to showcase that in each of my storybooks, there is a secret password that you can find. The secret password in Daisy's Ball will allow you to access this adorable activity that you can use uh, to move around and work on positional words. I will tell you more about this activity at the end of the session and how to create it and make it if you're interested. So stick around after the read aloud to find out more. If you're interested in learning more about Daisy's Ball, I'll have the QR code posted at the end of the storybook read aloud. Here is Daisy's Ball, a speech and language book on positional words. Daisy is a happy puppy. She's playing outside. She loves chasing her favorite red ball. Where is Daisy's Ball? Yes, it's in the window. Daisy runs to catch the ball. Where is Daisy's ball? Nice job. Yep, it's on top of the flowers. Daisy plays in her front yard. Where is Daisy's ball? <laughs> yep, it's under the bird. Daisy races after the ball in her backyard. Where is Daisy's ball? Good job, it's between the trees. Daisy chases her red ball at the park. Where is Daisy's ball? Yes, it's next to the bird. Daisy sprints toward the playground. Where is Daisy's ball? It's on the slide. <laughs> Daisy chases her ball into the open field. Where is Daisy's ball? It's on top of the rock. The other side of the pond. Where is Daisy's ball? It's in front of the pond. Daisy races around the pond. Where is Daisy's ball? Yes, it's next to the rock. Daisy scurries into the playground. Where is Daisy's ball? Yes, it's under the monkey bars. Daisy chases her ball out of the park. Where is Daisy's ball? Yes, it's between the flowers. Daisy follows the ball into her backyard. Where is Daisy's ball? This time it's under the tree. Uh-oh, Daisy has lost her ball. Let's help Daisy find the ball. Can you find it? Where is Daisy's ball? Yes, very nice. There it is. It's behind the house. Daisy has had so much fun chasing after her ball. She's finally home and ready for a nap. Where is Daisy's ball? <laughs> yes, Daisy has the ball and she's not going to let it go. I've enjoyed reading Daisy's Ball with you today. Now stay tuned and I'll tell you more about that activity that you can find using the secret password in the book. So now I'm ready to play with you. So I'm gonna hide my little Daisy's Ball around on the baking sheet and you're gonna tell me where it is. Are you ready? All right, let's go. All right, where is Daisy's Ball? It's under the monkey bars. We'll have Daisy go get it. And she's got her ball. Yay! All right, now I'm going to hide it again. Get ready. All right, 
Where is Daisy's ball this time? <laughs> nice job, it's in the pond. Let's have Daisy go chase it and get it, yay. All right, ready? I'm gonna do one more. All right, where is Daisy's ball? Yes, this time it's, it's in between the trees. Daisy gets her ball, look. And now Daisy has her ball, and this time she wants to take a nap and go to sleep from doing all that running around. So thanks for playing with me today. And if you find the secret password in the book, you can go out onto my website, click on speech language books, scroll down to Daisy's ball, and then enter the password that you can find in the Daisy's ball book. And the really neat thing is you'll have this little background scene and what I did was also cut out, there's a little Daisy character and a Daisy's ball. You can print out onto printable shrink paper, which then I just, of course, followed the instructions. And once it was completed, I just added a magnet to the back side. I created this um, do-it-yourself magnet board um, going to the dollar store. And I bought a baking pan and just a little business card holder that I glued to the back end. So for two bucks, I've got a nice little baking sheet uh, magnetic board. And this is fun because all you have to do is um, play. I've enjoyed reading Daisy's Ball with you today. And if you're interested in learning more about it, you can use your camera to hover over the QR code and it will pop you out to Amazon where you can check out more information on Daisy's Ball. Have a great rest of your day, and I look forward to reading with you again soon. Bye.